Welcome to Good Work Southwest Florida. I'm Brandi Broxton, editor of the journal at Naples Daily News, and this week we're on location with Kayla Boronell at the Naples Botanical Garden. But first, I'd like to give you a sneak peek at the January issue of the journal on newsstands now. In this month's cover story, we take a look at 10 nonprofits that will celebrate milestone anniversaries in 2015. The continued success of these nonprofits is apparent in the numbers they report. For example, Laces of Love, which will celebrate 10 years, has provided 65,000 pairs of new shoes to needy school children. The Community Foundation, which will celebrate 30 years, has distributed more than $74 million in grants since its inception. Whether it's a 10-year or 40-year anniversary, there are plenty of memories for these organizations to commemorate, and you can read all about their successes in the January issue. Jeweler Amanda Jaren is the subject of this month's Fashion Forward feature. Jaren opened her fine jewelry studio in 2010, and her pieces have been worn by Oprah, Sharon Stone, and Kelly Ripa, to name a few. The jewelry designer has also made a mark on local nonprofits by creating arm candy to be featured as fundraising items. She also started the Glitter Foundation, a charitable organization which aims to provide art therapy and education to needy children. Get a closer look at her creations in this month's feature. And it's been a busy last few months for fundraisers and nonprofit events. If you recently attended one, make sure you check out our social network pages. This month's edition features photos from the 14th Annual Gift of Giving and the Allegra Footprint Fund Award Luncheon, among others. For these stories and more, check out the journal at naplesnews.com community slash journal or grab one on location at a newsstand. That's all for this week. Have a piece of news from the nonprofit community I should know about? Email me at bkbroxen at naplesnews.com or tweet me at Brandy Broxen. And now let's go to Kayla Bornell at the Naples Botanical Garden. Hi, I'm Kayla Bornell, and today we're here at the Naples Botanical Garden, and I'm here with Chad Washburn, the Deputy Director. How are you? Very good, Kayla. Very great. Great to have you here. Thank you for having us. And we had an opportunity to walk around the garden and to see the plants and the landscape, and it's absolutely incredible. So thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Tell me about the new center and what can people expect when they come here? If you haven't been to the Botanical Garden since last season, we've really made a lot of changes. Uh, as soon as you come into the garden, you're, you're welcomed by uh, the new Eleanor Nicholas Shabaya Visitor Center. Uh, you, you enter through the Burger Pavilion. Immediately you're surrounded by gardens, a lush tropical landscape that was actually inspired by the tropical landscapes of Henry Rousseau. Um, you enter, uh, we have a charismatic garden, Irma's Garden, where you see some of the funky, weird, and wonderful plants. We have the Orchid Garden, the new Le Grip Orchid Garden, which we're standing in today, and you can, the, the perfume from the orchids is just intoxicating. So really a wonderful new space for the gardens. Can you tell me about um, the Shabrayas? How was, who are they and why was the building named after them? Yeah, the Shabrayas are uh, great supporters of the garden and um, they uh, named the new visitor center. So, and we also have, I have to add the Fog Cafe and if you haven't tried the Fog Burgers, they're delicious, really wonderful. <laughs> Sounds great, it's yeah. about lunchtime. Yes. Can you tell me about how others can get involved here at the, at the Botanical Garden? Yeah, uh, we have uh, wonderful support from the community. We have, I think about 800 volunteers now and they do everything from coming out to help uh, do horticulture work in the gardens. We have some that help uh, uh, with um, you know, stuffing envelopes, about every different job in a botanical garden. We have volunteers that come out and do it. And uh, you can find out more about volunteering through our website at naplesgarden.org. Perfect. And tell me about your most popular program. I know that you guys are out in the community. Yeah, well, uh, it was a botanical garden. You know, people think of us as just a pretty face, but we have so many wonderful things going on. Uh, we have a, one of my favorites is the Coast Step program. It's a pre-vocational program for exceptional students from Laley High School. So the special needs students come out and they learn traditional job skills, but in a setting like this, that's really, it's part therapeutic for them as well. Thank you so much for having us yeah, and it's absolutely beautiful. And if you want to visit the center, make sure to visit their website and there's a lot of great plants out here, a beautiful scenery, so make sure you come on out. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you tune in with us next week for more Good Work Southwest Florida.